be at a wrong time when it's all hot and ready and ready and ready. But I got good sense to introduce our speaker and tell my mule to set on you. Got But I know y'all feel like I feel. And the word of God is to come forth right now. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, you're the most He had your own shot. He had kind of a heart. Lord, I love you.
thank y'all for tuning in to this special, special edition. I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make it my, my business not to play any copyrighted music because I need this video monetized, y'all. YouTube, because baby, listen, it's gonna go down. <laughs> I need this video monetized. It is imperative that you share this video to your timelines, inbox other Top Squad members, inbox your church members, YPWW, the Sunshine Band. It is imperative, Top Squad, that you help get this video in the algorithm. And if we all collectively right now hit the like button, we could garner at least another 100 viewers. Like if we just all collectively, hey, Dijon, I have not uh, unlocked Facebook. Wow, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. It's okay. We have to unlock Facebook. The doors, um, the repass, the overflow. Okay. Uh, there we go. They open now. Okay. Um, Sappho or Rosebud, go over there and, and you know meet the people at the door over there, baby. Mm. Go over there and meet them people at the door, Sappho. And you know it's the re that overflow ain't really packed. There is an announcement tonight. They're no longer letting you hang out in the kitchen, Time Squad. You can't hang out in the kitchen because they say people been like, you know, stealing small items. You know, Mother Brown did a count on the sodas and a couple of sodas was missing out that big refrigerator by the door over there. So um, they got it roped off back there. You can't go back there and hang out, you know, during service. You can only go back there when food is being served because somebody was back there stealing um, some small items. They didn't think nobody was going to notice. Okay, so please be uh, please. Um, be mindful and make a note of the fact that you will not be able to uh, go back there. Amen. Okay, Ty Squad, enough of this. We just waiting for everybody because I'm not starting over. So we just waiting for everybody to get situated and get seated. Let me see what the people look like over here on uh, Facebook, honey. We got the door open. Okay. We just want to make sure that everybody is seated because when I start, I'm not starting over. Uh-huh. Okay. Facebook is good to go. Okay. Make sure this is off, muted. Okay, there we go. Okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we do our dedication, Ty Squad? I may have to bring the banner down for a while tonight. Why don't we do our dedication? We're dedicating tonight's show to Carlos Collins. Uh, if you search his social media, he loves to laugh. Just a bubbly personality, and I know he would love a show like this, you know, because he really, really, really loved life. And so we're going to dedicate the whole show to him tonight. You know, he was uh, part of, you know, intimate partner violence down there in Mississippi. And if we can get some green hearts or red hearts up for him. Exactly, Erica. If y'all can get some green or red hearts up for him tonight. He was um, cut off in his prime. And it's okay. We can say that the person that did it is going to face justice, you know. And we're just glad about the whole thing that justice will be um, served to him. Okay? Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, I see you, Janine, Linda, Denise, uh, Micey Miller, um, Gloria Edwards, um, Harold, all of y'all. Thank y'all for coming in. Yes. Okay, now, now that we got that out the way, Top Squad, I need y'all to put I know you FL, you know, I-Y-F-L in the chat. Before we get started, y'all, put that in the chat, hashtag I-Y-F-L. Y-L. I know you fucking lying. Oh, my God. You put that in the chat. <laughs> but I said, I said, it, it ain't sexual, but I said, honey, it's probably coming, though. Um, oh, no, ma'am. I'm going to provide a link in all my social media, you know, platforms. Y'all remember the man that was over there at Bishop Wooden's church? Remember him? He was over there just talking about gay people like dogs especially our trans sisters and brothers. Okay, Tasqua, well, mother can exclusively report here that ABC News just did a full expose on him. According to his bankruptcy filing, he has not paid federal taxes in five years. You heard me correctly, tax evasion. So you in the pulpit talking about Democrats are uncouth and un... And you ain't even, you don't respect the United States government enough to pay your own taxes? Oh, that link will be going out tonight immediately following the show so you can read the expose. Rosebud, five years, no federal taxes, and you in a pool pit trying to talk about somebody. Uh-huh, Brother Robinson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And ABC News, 
Honey, they did a nice right. I read it twice. Yeah, you need to be locked up. Bishop wouldn't. Can we get a statement from you or Dion, the little boy? Oh, he blocked. Dion is blocked. Can we get a statement from Dion? And you running for office? You trying to run for governor of North Carolina? A very popular state at that. Child, I'm not even going to waste some more time, y'all. We'll get all that information out to y'all. Okay. Okay, so tonight we don't have our regular format because this is a special. It's not the regular format. But we do have a, a few things that are the same, a few segments, but it's not like our normal format. Just heads up. We will return to that next Tuesday night. So we do still have our church bulletin. Uh, if you got a bulletin, please pull it out at this time. We're going to go over just a few things here. Do, 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 do. Uh, on crown. Uh, let's start with tonight. Tonight, Ty Squad, I'm going to have to take my ticker down. Okay, so tonight, Bishop Carlton Pearson's portrait is being inducted. We want to shout out Morehouse. Yeah, Morehouse. Um, so it's going to be over at the International Chapel. Um, let's see. It's already going on right now. So it's like 848. Yeah, it's already um, been had. But um, it's, it's a monumental thing, Tasqua. Um, It's a monumental thing. Um, okay, so Carlton Pearson was a legendary preacher, pastor, orator, interpreter of the gospel. And uh, it is, you know, uh, a great honor for his portrait to be inducted into the uh, Morehouse uh, uh, College over there, Tasqua. So I'm happy about that, Tasqua. I'm very elated about that. Um, and there's nothing these hate mongers can do about it. That is awesome. Okay. All right. Uh, we got a tribute to Richard Smallwood, Ty Squad. This is the Yale Institute of Sacred Music presents Anthem of Praise, a salute to Richard Smallwood. Um, Donald Lawrence, Tremaine Hawkins, a lot of people are on program, Ty Squad. Uh, uh, Karen Clark's going through. This is going to be over in New Haven, Connecticut, Ty Squad. Hold on one second. My damn comments on the other thing stopped. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Let me just go out and come back in, baby, because I already know how to miss. Uh, when this stopped like this, baby, it's a mess. There we go. Um, hey, Dr. Tonya, I'm McDonald. Okay, so um, Tremaine Hawkins, I wonder how much they gave her. Because, you know, her honorarium may say it's off the chain, Ty Squad. Okay, so, um, yeah, a little bit of everybody is going to be over there. B.B. Winans, the Walls Group, you know what I'm saying? And this is going to be at um, the Yale, you know, Institute of Sacred Music and all that over there, Yale, Tazwad. Uh-huh. So, uh, college, uh, let's see, April 19th at the College Street Music Hall. Yeah, I know where that's at, over there by Yale and stuff. So, Richard Smallwood is very deserving, Tazwad. Very deserving of this prestigious honor. I, am I going? No, I'm not going to be able to make it, baby. I'll be out of town handling some business that night. Uh, long overdue. Okay. And we got. Um, if you are a Stellar Academy uh, member, Ty Squad, if you are a part of the Academy, um, I'm asking that you vote for Kevin Lemons in Higher Calling. Um, the three categories that they're in: Traditional Album of the Year, Traditional Choir of the Year. Special event album of the year. You can vote at StellarAwards.com. Um, I think I'm not sure if the public can vote as well. Just go by there and see Ty Squad. You know, I'm trying to do make amends because you know the blogging community. We did kind of handle. We did kind of handle till one a little rough, you know. So a lot of the blogging community, we didn't do our best handling that case. So I'm just trying to make amends any way I can. You know what I'm saying? Uh, vote for. Kevin Lemons and Higher Calling, Ty Squad. You know, I'm doing the best I can. Voting open yesterday, and you can um, vote at your leisure. Amen? Uh-huh. Hey, DZ, Crystal Marshall, Stephanie. Hey, everybody. Thank y'all for coming in. BJ, Nappy J, Bezo, Mar, Sherman Walker. Come on in. Come on in. Let's get to 300. That's our goal tonight. Our goal is 200, but let's do our 300, and we can just work from there. Um, okay, so that that's that. What else do we have, Ty Squad? Oh, we got big news from the Church of God in Christ. Uh-huh. Oh, well, it's two, it's two parts to this. Well, maybe even three. 
Okay, they got the road to Pentecost. Okay, they got the road to Pentecost. It's going to be a tour. It's from the Department of Evangelism, Tasquad. Um, I wasn't going to make two flyers, y'all. I put it on one flyer. Well, not flyer. I wasn't going to make two slides. I made, you know, okay, one slide. So they're coming to Baton Rouge, Milwaukee, Greensboro, and Detroit. Um, okay, Pastor Spreewell is the president. Uh, Dorinda Clark Cole is the elect lady. And, you know, you know Bishop Shit is the president. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so they're going to be in uh, Milwaukee, Greensboro, and Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stop by there. But uh, several of y'all hit me up with the picture on the right. Um, Bishop Porter announced that, you know, the Church of God in Christ is opening a clinic in Memphis and will be opening other clinics over there. Uh, well, opening other clinics across the country. Well, that's what they say, you know, but we do see him here in a clinic. They're about to, you know, you know, you know work on and, and whatnot, Ty Squad. Um, so, you know, people are, I don't know why people sitting me this like, girl, you know, like they doing something to me. I don't, I'm not coaching. I'm not coaching. Y'all might want to send this to the young man over there in Florida. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 he has an alt with the Church of God in Christ. Y'all ain't got to send this to me like, oh, we showing you. You're not showing me shit. I'm not coaching. They should have been opening up some clinics. Oh, it's going it's to get real, real up in here. They should have been opening up some clinics. Uh, so Ty Squad, um, we claim, uh, we claim you, Ty. Okay, you claim me. Okay. Um, at the end of the day, Ty Squad, here is the deal. They're gonna open up some clinics. The Church of God in Christ. Congratulations. Um, but yeah, you know, the dude down there in Florida, he used to always have you know something to say about them not doing nothing and opening up you know, nothing, you know. Uh, they should be opening up hospitals instead of clinics. Now, this is the current uh, presidium, right? Okay. Uh, they announced, you know, the names of everybody that's running. Some of these people may be in power in November. Come November, some of these people may be getting their um, bags packed. We don't know, okay? But um, they did announce the people that are running, Ty Squad. Um, listen, all I can say is good luck. Good luck, Chuck. Um, the election is in November, okay? It's in November. Well, yeah, it's getting close. To, uh, exactly, DZ. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they start opening up hospitals, apartment buildings. You know what I'm saying? Let's open up something fast. Let's get some um some hamburger shacks, some chicken shacks open. Mm-hmm. So people can say, oh, my God, look what he did the year of the election. Got it. All right. Do we have anything else, Ty Squad? Well, somebody asked a question on my brother's post he was they were asking why aren't there any women will there ever be a woman bishop will there ever be do they even have women pastors Ty squad do anybody know do they have it do they have women pastors I, i'm just saying i never see women and no type of leadership positions you can be in evangelism and the music department but you never see them in senior leadership mm -mm. Hey, lovely blueprint. Hey, everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh-huh. I think Renee Winston. Oh, Renee Winston. Okay. All right. Okay, where are we going first? We have six. We got six questions tonight, but where are we going first? Oh, I don't know where I want to go first, Ty Squad. Oh, where I want to go first. Well, why don't we knock that out, too? We got, oh, we got a lot of videos. We got a lot. I don't know where to begin. Um. Okay. Let me go over here, Ty Squad. Why don't we get some videos done? Because we have a lot of videos. Why don't we get some videos uh, knocked out? Okay, so why don't we do that? And then we can go from there. Okay, let's get a video or two knocked out, Ty Squad. Why don't we do that? Okay. What are we doing? Uh, oh, we're going to gonna have somebody lead us in a devotional? Okay, we're going to have someone lead us in a devotional. Good, Cool. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of the Lord. Oh yeah, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Sweetest name I know. Take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Take the Lord along yeah. with you everywhere you go. Take him with you, take him with you 
everywhere you yeah. go. Take him with you, take him with you, everywhere you go. After you cook out, you had your praise out. I love you. Bye-bye. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, thank you, daughter of Zion. I like that. I like that. Uh, take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Did y'all like that or what? Uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, we got some eclipse. We got some people that got the Holy Ghost during the eclipse. Let's get these eclipse people out the way, Ty Squad. Did y'all like mother? Did y'all like <laughs> oh, wait? This is so cool. Oh my god. I better not fall. Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh, I got it. Jesus, I got it. Lord, I got it. Goodness. My body is shaking. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my God, everyone is silent. Oh my God, I can feel my heart beating through my chest. Oh my God, oh my God. Wow, it's about to happen. Wow, right there, right there. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus Christ, Jesus is Lord. Wow! Yes. Wow, Lord! Jesus! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ of Nazareth! Woo! Oh my God! Oh my God, it's dark! It is completely dark! Oh, you have to see this! Woo! Lord! This is beautiful! Jesus! I peace for a second. Wow. Everyone is silent. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, daughter. Oh, shoot. Y'all, look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. Jesus, I love you, Lord. Nobody like you, God. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, God. You're my Savior. You're my Creator. You're my Creator. You're my Creator. I love you, Jesus. Yeah, I love you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Hallelujah. God, you are mighty. God, you are mighty. God, you are mighty. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I bless your name, God. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you, God. There's nobody like you. There's no way like that. Oh, Lord. I agree with some, uh, uh, it was uh, several people in the chat. Y'all, you know, it was an eclipse that made y'all feel the presence of the Lord. Y'all don't feel it when you wake up in the morning? Hell, I wake up in the morning and do that. I wake up in the morning and do that, uh, Ty Squad. I would have been like, okay, girl, okay. I understand it's when well, you ain't never seen it before, y'all, but damn. That's why these people are like, girl. We have any more videos we do? Okay, let me see. Um, I'm gonna pick somebody out randomly. I'm gonna pick somebody out randomly really quickly. I'm gonna see who I'm gonna do. I'm gonna she just walked in. I'm gonna do her. Kim Sims. Kim Sims, I'm doing you. I want to let you know, in three days, I was going to do this randomly tonight, Kim Sims, in three days, in three days, just, just random, in three days, Kim Sims. In three days. <laughs>
sometimes when somebody, you know, do a prophetic word like that, Tosco, <laughs> ma'am, you could hit that lady in the head with that Bible. That was not funny. You almost took her head off. But sometimes when somebody tell you in three days, you feel that thing, Tosco, did you feel the kill? Uh, but that's somebody that's want to, that's somebody that's trying to take the attention off of the, the person that's preaching, y'all. That's all that is. I'm sorry if you got your earbuds in. Let's get on with the show, Tasqua. If you got your earbuds in, I am so sorry, Tasqua. I apologize. Okay, so we have. Um, Prophet Passion, Prophet Java. Is that his name, Tosquad Prophet Java? Oh, wow. Okay. Prophet Passion Java. Okay. A one on one phone call costs $555. But please be advised, according to the website, there are no refunds. So, you know, after uh, registering for a one on one, you know, based on the profit schedule, the average wait time is five to six weeks, but can fluctuate. The office will call you and notify you to check if you're ready for your call. Please continue to be patient as we respond to you. Thank you for waiting promptly as we are experiencing high volume of registers. That's from Profit Java's website. So you get a prophecy, but it's $555. He will call you. Um, Prophet Java. Okay, I mean, listen, y'all. Five fifty-five. Any anybody want to call? Tasquad. That's his. Um, is that a Mercedes? What is that, Tasquad? Is that a Mercedes? Is that a, a a Maybach? No, that's on the website, sis. No, for me. <laughs> okay, you know, listen. You know, if somebody want to pay it, if somebody want to pay, it, he got a, a little uh, exotic dog right there, a bulldog. You know, custom suit, you know. I, I don't know how. I don't know how anybody. Hold on. Hello? Hello? I missed the call. Oh, my God. Hello? Oh, my God. I missed the call. Do I get a call back? Hello? Hello? Shirley? This is Barbara. No. <laughs> Do I get a call back? <laughs> oh, these people, honey. This 555, 666, and 777. No refunds. Oh, wow. Oh, baby, listen, let me tell y'all something. I talked to God about, what, an hour ago? In my kitchen, wiping my counters down, just thanking him. Thanking him for the tie squad. Thanking him for making a way. Thanking him for, you know, sustaining my health. I was just talking to him a minute ago in the kitchen. That's a cute little dog, though, Tosquad. Tosquad, are you ready for your first question of the night? If you're ready for your first question, say ready. Ready. Are you ready? It's an interactive night tonight, Tosquad. You get to be yourself. You get to say what you want to say. Don't get carried away in the chat. Okay. Like, don't be like, well, I see them come out of the room with a woman. Yeah, don't do that. Be as honest as you want to be. Say what you want to say. You're open tonight to say what you want to say. We have six of these. So are you ready, ready, ready? Our first one is coming up, and we're going to knock it out, okay? Uh, we're going to give you time to type. We're going to give you time because we're on a little early tonight. Okay. All right, Tasqua. Do not. Go overboard. Our first question. Brian Corn has had nearly a dozen scandals in the last decade. Would a woman in ministry survive this long unchecked? Uh, we see the situation with Laquita. Bishop Senegal did an open review, rebuke. And then there was a whole situation where he quoted a witch. Word for word in a prophecy. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, there you go, Tasquad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Type it out, baby. Brian Corn has had a nearly 
had has had nearly a dozen scandals. Uh huh. Would a woman in ministry survive this long unchecked? Uh, they set him down a few months. He get back up and oh, this is real. This is real simple tonight, y'all. Y'all said hell no, not absolutely not. Um, Brian, are you reading this? Are you watching? Mm hmm. Big booty, Brian. <laughs> Brian, are you watching tonight? So you can get an idea, you know, what's going on, and you can get some damn feedback, and you can do better. Ah, uh, one second. Hold on one second. I'm getting an inbox from somebody. Okay, there we go. Uh, hold on, Task Squad. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody want to, everybody and mama want to inbox me when I'm live. Amy, sis. Okay, hold on, Task Squad. Let me re reply. I'm gonna reply back. Cause I reply back. You know what I'm saying? I reply back, do. Um, Brian Corn, big booty Brian Corn, that's what they call him. At the end of the day, baby, the task squad says that um anybody else would have been walked out of the pool pit and damn near sat down. Period. Full stop. Uh, where my comments go. Uh, yeah, look at Juanita Biner. No, and she don't have to be in ministry. Oh, yeah, she could have just been an acquired member, huh, Aunt Pat? Uh-huh. She could have just been a choir member. Never would have made it. Okay. What, what? Never would have made Oh, the woman would have never made it? Okay. Well, listen, Ty Squad, it is what it is. Uh, why, don't we, um, why don't we do a little music right quick? Why don't we do, before we move on to our next question, why don't we uh, do a little music here and see what we got here, okay? Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. We got Karen Clark versus Dorinda Clark. Um, there's a small snippet from Mother Kelly. There's a small snippet from Mother Kelly's service. We got Karen Clark versus Dorinda Clark. You get to choose um, who is the winner from this small 90 second clip. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Karen, that's your damn sister. You have to blow her out the water like that. You know, some people, you know, they don't give a damn. Sister, mother, auntie, you have to do her like that, Karen. You know, that was some real serious shit right there. <laughs> Who said uh, I vote for Jackie? You know what, y'all be. <laughs> oh, uh, I love Dorita, but Karen has won. Uh, Karen was already looking at her like she was going to eat her up. But how do you do that to your sister? And that's your sister's song. Uh, uh, saying Karen. Karen was already looking at her like she was going to eat her up. Yeah, I wouldn't have did that. I would have said, you know what? Let me scale back. Uh, who said that? Leader. Both voices are overworked and need rest. Oh, wow. Well, listen. Um, tonight's show, you get to say what you need to say. Um, uh, somebody by the name of Bishop E, I've seen him around in the chat. Uh, neither both voices are overworked and need rest. Are oh, you talking about Karen Clark Sheard, Sister Cole, and Sister Sheard? 
Oh, thank you, Jocelyn. Oh, they say you're a hater. Um, oh, well, why don't we drop the link and see if he's um he or she, because it could be a bishop woman. Let's see if they're, you know, bold enough, Ty Squad, to hit this link. Because anybody can talk shit from the chat. Okay, there we go. There's the link. Uh-huh. Are you a vocal coach, Bishop E? Are you a, what do you do? Uh, why don't we play it again while we wait for him to come up? Hit that link, you know, or they just probably just don't talk shit from the chat. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, or is they gonna are they coming up or what, Ty Squad? They're probably not gonna come up, huh? That um Bishop E person, they're not gonna hit that link. They're probably not. Let's be honest, they're not gonna hit that link, Ty Squad, because people like to do shit like that from the chat. Did they say they were coming up? Uh mother didn't raise her hand for um oh ooh, wow. Who would say such a thing about the Clark sisters? It, you know, it's a lot of sick ass people out here. Sick, sick, sick. Curtis Jordan. Okay, we're not gonna keep dropping this link for this person. They wanted to come here um, uh, uh, and, and and disrupt. You know, I don't see the link. Child, hold on one second. Let me pin it. Let me pin it for this person, Bishop E. Hold on one second, Ty Squad. Let me pin it for you. Um. Uh, Dion, what do you want? Dion, what do you want? You're in the green room. What do you want? Your privileges have been revoked for six months. You can reapply in September. What do you want? Today. What do you want? Can you unblock me? No, I cannot unblock you. I'm sorry. No. I don't oh. I didn't give you money. I didn't bless you and helped you. And you want to come in my chat and get smart? I never got smart. I'm sorry, sir. You always get smart. We'll think about it. We'll do a vote right now. Let's do a vote. Should we unblock Dion? The, the, I will decide. I'll let the tie squad decide. Do you want Respect. to meet? Respectfully. You know, you can't get smart with me. You can't get smart with the queen. These girls are going to start disappearing. Tie squad, yes or no? I just said Bishop Wooden respects his son. That was the only thing I said. No, Respect. just unblock him. Mother. Why you? Why you want me to unblock him, Erica Johnson? For a fee, mother. I don't charge. Um, think of this Bishop E person. Hold on, let me see what they got. First of all, let me see what they look like, honey. See what's going on. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. Hi, Bishop. Hey, blessings to you, man. How are you? Okay, all right. All I was saying was um, I, I am a Clark sister fan, oh, but okay. I have just heard both of them in better voice. You could just tell that they've been ministering. That's all I was saying. I wasn't trying to say that, you know, one was worse than the other. I was just saying that you could tell that um, Dr. Cole had been um, evangelizing and you could tell that Lady Karen had been singing a lot and they needed vocal rest. That's all. They sound like they was in full voice to me. No, <laughs> I've heard them sound much better. Come on now. Let's let's be honest. Take away all the runs and riffs that Karen has done. You could say that they sh they've both been in better voice. But that's just my opinion. Bishop I've heard Bishop, yeah. where are you um, watching us from tonight? L.A. I'm here in L.A. Okay, you're in L.A. And are you Kojic? I was. Okay. Grew up Kojic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, somebody in the chat say they did sound tired. Okay. 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 Somebody agrees. One person. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah. I was like, well, Bishop E, thank you for having the courage to cam up and come on and say what you really feel. If you feel like they both need a vocal rest, stand on it. Ten toes down. Exactly. And I enjoy you. Love you, man. I love you more. All right. All right. Dion, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look into it. I'll see what I can do. I, I I'm gonna look into it because you know it's a mixed bag, you know. Can I ask you a question? You listen, if it's a question about Bishop Wooden, I don't have a time to be dealing with Bishop <laughs> Wooden and the people over at that damn church, the upper room church. Okay, I don't care. I really don't care. All right. What kind of question do you want to ask? I was just gonna ask you, did you know that uh Bishop Patrick Wooten is a candidate for the general board of the Koji? And how you feel about that? He's not gonna be no. Uh, he's not gonna be. Uh, they're not gonna let him up there. Okay. His is. Uh, he's too controversial. He's too polarizing. He's not gonna make it. It's not gonna work. Are uh, you gonna be rooting him on? How huh? you gonna be cheering him on? Yes, sir. But I did kind of have a dream about the Kojic Institution. I wish I could talk to you about it. Well, go ahead. Tell us about the dream, Dion. Well, what well, happened? Was, you saw was, that they were gonna be doing. Hulu was getting ready to do a six-part undercover expose about all the sexual malfeasance and cover-ups and, you know, kicking a can down the road legally. That's what you saw in a dream? No, but uh, I, it was the head of the Kojic, uh, his, well, I hate to say it, but, you know, he, he just fell from grace. I'll leave it at that. Who fell from grace? Bishop Sheer? Yeah, well, okay, in so the dream... Uh, uh, the, just say what you want to say, right? Say what you want to say. Not you him. Now you, yeah, the, now you marked the king. You had a dream. Let me guess. Bishop Wooden won. Well, I could. I was hoping, and I woke up in the dream on that part. But yeah, Bishop Sheard had fell from grace, and you know, you know, uh, I don't want. I don't wish that upon him. But I would say this since you brought that up. Did you know G.E. Patterson wasn't squeaky clean, right? Bishop yeah, G.E. Patterson. About Bishop Patterson, he is deceased. He is deceased, and we're not here to talk about him. We all have skeletons in the closet, so we're not here to talk about Bishop Patterson, right? We yes, talk about your dream, your dream that you want Bishop Whitney to be the presiding bishop. And yes, then, sir. Yes, sir. No, hold on. You want a big scandal to take Bishop Sheard out, and you want Bishop Whitney to come in and they elect him. That's not gonna happen. And at the same time, Donald Trump become president. That's your dream. Continue to dream, because you will continue to have them. Dream. <laughs> All right, mother. Peace All right, bro. Me. Okay. Girl, uh, boy, listen. <laughs> I knew that's what his dream was. That's a fantasy. That's not a dream. He might be sitting up and thinking about that all day. You know what I'm saying? That's why. Let's get to our next question. Let's get to our next. Continue to share this video, Tyswab. Um, did you have a dream about that punishment trailer? Did you have a uh, punishment trailer? Hey, Lamar. There's no need to have that. There's no need to have that come back on. You know, um, I really don't want disruption to verb noun agreement. I just, I just don't have energy for that, and I think that. Bringing him back on is just, it's not needed. Respectfully, just bow out gracefully and be with Bishop Wooden, but not today. Not today. Okay, I can, you talk, you're talking about who you talking about? You talking about Dion? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we you don't, don't like Dion. You, I, I take it you don't like Dion. Nope. Don't need him here. God bless. And, you know, and you want people when they come on with their views and their opinions that they're learned. But it's just, it's reminding me from the person in Florida, just unlearned people. So I'm good. You're doing great. So just, just, I don't need him here and leave him there. All right. That's all I had to say. All right. All right, y'all. Listen, we'll, we'll review, we'll review, um, we'll review, what's that boy named Dion file in about three months. Let's do three months. Um, okay. But when he come in here and he talking about I have a question, it kind of tells you where he going. Whenever he say I have a question, it's a problem. See, this chat is a privilege. We gotta get to our next question because I ain't get, I'm not gonna be here all night, Tasquad. Uh, we gotta get to our next question. Tasquad, let me tell y'all something before I before I do that. 
I don't know what's going to happen in November. There's a storm out on the ocean, Ty Squad. Before we get to our next question, there's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this away. Storm out on the ocean and it's moving this away. If your soul now ain't get it. I gotta stop now. You will surely drift away. You better tell somebody if your soul not you We don't worry about solar eclipses when you a Christian. Earthquakes don't shake you when you a Christian. The end times belong to God. And no man or woman knows the day or the hour when the Lord will return. So let all the eclipses and the earthquakes come. Don't you be caught up getting fearful, worried about none of that. Just make sure your soul. I said make sure your soul. You better make sure you I'm, I'm sorry. Tell somebody, make sure your soul is anchored. Ah, I felt that thing. You can't be out there. Uh, uh, you don't know when he come. Don't be out there burying them chicken bones and putting names in water bottles when he cracked the sky. But we got to move on. Do you think the public response would have been different? if Noel Jones was insult assaulted instead of Loretta. Do you think the response would have been different if Regina walked up there and popped Noel Jones in the damn mouth instead of damn Loretta? I need y'all to talk to me. Move quickly. Move quickly. Put your answers in the box. Move quickly. Mm. Poor Loretta. Loretta, Loretta, Loretta. <laughs> We are not making light of domestic violence. We're not making a uh, light of violence against black women. But uh, she would still be in jail. Oh, wow. Do you think they would have pressed charges? Because they didn't even press charges, Ty Squad. Regina was over there in that car talking about, yeah, I popped her. Yeah, I, popped her. I beat her ass. I was like, wow. Uh -huh. uh, uh, talk to me, Ty Squad. Do you think the public response would have been different if Noel was assaulted? Yeah, they would have tackled her like the linebackers. Yes. Uh, that would have been uh, a rumble. Mm. Yeah, because the women lust after him. Yeah, that's why they um, got everybody off that front row because they were sitting on that front row with their dresses up with no panties on, Aunt Pat. She would have she would have made it out of the city of refuge. Okay, Tasquad, question. Do you think Regina would have been able to do that at your church? With, show, with Knowing your church and how your church is set up, would Regina been able to do that at your church? <laughs> knowing your first lady, knowing your pastor, I know some of y'all in the South, would Regina been able to do that at your church? Yay or nay? <laughs> Baby, listen. At Holy Deliverance back in the day, at Holy Deliverance, Baby, they would have knotted Regina up. No shade to Regina. Baby, Baby, Regina would have been out of, Regina, we love you, baby, but you would have been over there leaking. Yeah, I donated a couple hundred dollars to her hotel and stuff. <laughs> so I love you, Regina. But baby, you came up and holding the limits on Lincoln Avenue. You would have been knotted up. I'm just being honest. <laughs> oh, she would have caught. Baby, listen. All right, all right. We don't want to. Mm -mm. We don't want to do anything with gun violence in the chat. Ty Squad. Just be mindful. Be mindful. If you have to, please remove anything. You know, because these girls love, y'all know, remove anything concerning gun violence from the chat. Thank y'all so much. All right. I would have whipped her, uh, you know, a, a nice ass whooping is okay, but anything, guns, you know what I'm saying, Ty Squad, guns and knives and stuff, you don't want to put that in the chat. Okay. We need 100 more likes. Okay. How many? Where we at, Ty Squad? Where we at? Where we at? Head would have got, baby, listen. 
Regina would have been leaking, would have been knotted up like Martin on that episode of Martin. Okay, let me see where we're at, Ty Squad. Where are we at with these likes, Ty Squad? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think we got time for a quick word. Uh, do, 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 do. Are you enjoying tonight? Let me know, Ty Squad. Um, Dion is here. Um, let him sit in the back. Let Dion sit in the back. Dion has to, he's going to have to get some act right before we allow him back in here. We're not going to let Dion up in here no more like that. Dion, you got to get some act right, bro, bro. When you get some act right, you can get back up in here. You know? Okay. <laughs> what are the likes uh, looking like, Ty Squad? Talk to me. Um, She would have got Mario Coy. Baby, listen. 202 likes. Okay, keep going, Ty Squad. Keep going. Look like the Ty Squad is, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, thinking that Bishop, uh, Bishop would have got a different treatment. Okay, why don't we... um. Okay, why don't we do, why don't we do um, a quick word, a quick word. The thing that helps the enemy is a lazy belief. <laughs> One that feels like going to church is enough. <laughs> you got to get dissatisfied with just going to church. <laughs> you got to get dissatisfied when things are not happening. <laughs> you ought to want to see healing and deliverance. <laughs> you ought to want to see tumors drop out, blinded eyes pop open, <laughs> lame walking, dumb talking. <laughs> you got to get dissatisfied with always eating a Big Mac and filling your face. You got to get dissatisfied with natural food enough to say, God, there's got to be more to this thing than this. I want to see somebody healed and delivered and set free. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Say, yes, Lord. Say, yes, Lord. You got to put them Big Macs down and them hamburgers and stuff. Them Jumbo Jacks and Famous Stars. Put them hamburgers down. Uh, uh, Y'all ain't can't even heal nobody. Y'all can't even heal a damn sinus infection. Uh, we got a story. We got uh, we got a story before we get to... Honey, listen, we got a lot of stories tonight, Tasquad. Let's knock this story out, Tasquad. Okay, here we go. Um, this is over there in Florida, Tasquad. Let's knock this story out. We got three stories tonight as well as six questions. So. Three stories, six questions. Um, and as soon as I pull up my notes, I can tell y'all about it, okay? So this is over in uh, Opelika, Florida, and I'm trying to get the notes. One second. Got it. Okay, so the suspect was arrested after Opelika, um, uh, an Opelika pastor was found stabbed to death at his church. Um, this man has been arrested. He's been arrested and the fatal stabbing of a well-known Opelika pastor at his church over um, the week last weekend. Um, pastor A.D. Lenar was found stabbed unalive at Westview Baptist Church uh -huh, on Saturday evening. Miami-Dade police confirmed. A suspect on your left, James Dawkins, was arrested Sunday on first degree unaliving in the killing. Investigators discovered Lenore had, Lenore had contacted a locksmith to change, to change several locks at the church and was with the locksmith. Okay. When Dawkins, on the left, uh, who lives on the premises, was involved in a verbal altercation with Pastor Lenore. Oh, okay. So the report said that Dawkins stabbed Pastor Lenore without any provocation, multiple times, then fled the scene on foot. Dawkins was found on Sunday and taken into custody before being booked into the jail. He's being held without bond uh, on Monday. He was held. Okay, okay, listen, that's why. The pastor was changing the locks. Maybe he was trying to get the guy, because the man lived there, Tasquad. I don't know what's going on with these situations, Tasquad. We don't want to, you know, jump to no conclusions, y'all. But the pastor was probably just tired of you, you know what I'm saying? And he was trying to change your locks, and then you go over here and stab the man. We just had a shooting over there, over there in Dallas, where the um, the man shot the boy, chased him down the street, and emptied the gun up at him. So I don't know, Tasquan. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know what's going on around here. Well, let's keep the, the, the church in general in our prayers as we get to question number three. Okay? Okay, wait a minute. As we get to question number three. Um, should T.D. Jakes have not addressed the power bottom accusations during the now infamous Christmas sermon? Okay, should he have just came out and said nothing, Ty Squad? Nothing at all. Uh, instead of calling people freaks, instead of calling people, you know what I'm saying, all these uh, names, how many people say he really should have just shut up and just preached the sermon and let your lawyers handle it? You know what I'm saying? How many Ty Squad members say, yeah, I think he should have said, said nothing? Because once he started, he couldn't stop. Mm. Should have stayed quiet. That would have been better. Uh, are you watching TD Jakes? They say you watch these shows sometimes. Uh-huh. He should have kept his mouth uh, shut. Damn, LaFrance. I think it was the wrong time to speak. Yeah, I would have remained silent. Oh. Okay. Oh, damn. All these people say he should have um, hired those videos, sir. What videos? Uh, he had to address it. Mm. Uh, well, you know, if they talk about he's a power bottom, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say you're a power bottom, you got to address that tie squad. And they said you getting your back blown out at Diddy's parties. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Should have kept his mouth closed. Damn, keep with it. His publicist had already... That, now, I heard that from a very reputable source in Dallas. That they had a plan in place and that they were, you know, going to make a small statement and move on with the sermon. They say he just lost it and went rogue. Now, one of my sources in Dallas told me that verbatim, y'all. It was a whole plan in place. He had already addressed it in a statement in the Christian Post. Nothing else needed to be said. Okay, thank you, Bees on Mars. Uh-huh, thank you, somebody says. Uh, you know, somebody's saying, you over here at, at Diddy Party allegedly getting your back blown out. And, you know, they running trains and shit on you. This shit is that side. That's crazy. That is cray-cray. And most of all of that came from the bloggers for your tie squad. Um, you know, most of the bloggers for your yeah, I heard uh, my homeboy was, uh, what's his name, hairstylist. She was up there. Like, once this shit took off, it was everybody and they mama tie squad. Uh, Miss Yummy, oh, wow. <laughs> if they said he was a regular, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't, I don't know, TDJ. I don't know, baby. I don't know what to believe. Larry said it's coming out of Texas. That's what Larry said. <laughs> oh, no. Larry said it's all coming out of Texas, Ty Squad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I want to know where the top is to impeach his testimony. Well, they said he had like three people. They got three people that's going to be coming out, maybe three or four people. Uh, Harold. I mean, I don't know. They said he got three guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I cannot see Bishop doing that. But I, you know, I don't. Bishop, because you know, power bottom throws it back. Like, pow, take it. You know, like, a power bottom throw. I just can't see that, y'all. I can't. Uh, Larry's right, too. Oh, Larry's right, Wonder Woman. Maybe we have to give you a mic. Uh, she's been back uh, in service here lately. Maybe we got to give her a microphone. Uh-huh. It's all coming out of Texas. I can't see Bishop um, Jake throwing it back on somebody like uh, Rose said, I don't want to see <laughs> Oh, I would have I would have to uh, I wouldn't have to learn what a power bottom was if if it wasn't for him. Boys, you didn't know what a, boys, brother. Brother, you didn't know what a power bottom was? Boys? <laughs> now, boys. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, we cracked 500, Ty Squad. We cracked 500. Can y'all put some red hearts in the chat? We cracked 500 tonight. What a magnanimous goal. What a magnanimous goal. We cracked 500, Ty Squad. I don't care. We go to 499. We cracked 500. We cracked 500. Red hearts in the chat. We're cracking 500. Uh, let me see how much. I'm not going to be busy, but let me see how many people watching old boy over there. Because he live, too. Let me see how many people watching him. What's that boy name? What's that man named that old messy punk? Let me see how many people watching him. Girl. 
There's so many people watching here. Girl, baby, listen. But my sister over there, so I'm going to just show some love and keep on going. My sister over there. Girl, girl, baby, listen. This ain't for everybody. This blogging thing ain't for everybody, baby. You, gotta, you know, you know. My sister over there, so I ain't going to go hard. Stephanie, this ain't, I'm telling you, this shit ain't for everybody. You know that old messy pump. You know, she over there had a girl. We got time for something else. Uh, Bishop Jason Tosswell said, honey, listen. Get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> okay, y'all, we got to go. We got to go. We got a video of something to play. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Mm. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a video. Do, 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 do. We got that, got that done, got that on Chrome. I also want to thank God for my daughter's health. My baby's had COVID three times, mm -hmm. and the first two times she wasn't vaccinated. But she has the residual of a heart condition, mm -hmm. and she is doing well. She's still mm -hmm. able. Tasqua, have y'all ever been there like, do y'all show y'all facial expressions during testimonies like? I also want to thank God for my daughter's health. My baby's had COVID three times, mm -hmm. and the first two times she wasn't vaccinated. But she has the residual of a heart condition, mm -hmm. and she is doing well. She's still mm -hmm. able. Girl, you know what, man? I, I don't know. There's, uh, you know, these suspect testimonies, y'all, that's why. These suspect damn testimonies. <clears throat> How many Task Squad members in here? She had it three times and she's still living? No shade, ma'am. How many Task Squad members have a testimony? Like, you know, I ain't talking about like your light bill got paid. How many people in here, like how many Task Squad members have a miraculous testimony? If you do just say me. Some people don't have a miraculous testimony. I do. You know, I almost lost my life a couple of times. So is there anybody here that has had a miraculous testimony of being healed or almost losing your life, almost losing your mind? You was just, you know, almost there. The white van was coming. Oh, y'all need to scoop then. Y'all need to do old scoop praise. Wait a minute. There's it's it's a lot of bees up in here. Uh, y'all need to do an old school. Oh, no, I'm That's all right, daughter. You know, sometimes when you think about that thing, it gets real on you. It's already done, okay? Why don't we get to our question? I believe it's number four, Tom Squad. Why don't we get to question number four? Uh, do, 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 Okay. Do you think the clerical mass is supposed to be clerical? Okay, that's my typo. Don't worry about it. I know it should say clerical, but it says clerical. Okay. Do you think the clerical mass exodus of Anwar Ministries is about Matthew Stevenson personally or something else? Do you think the clerical mass exodus of Anwar Ministries is about Matthew Stevenson personally, or do you think it's about something else? You can also say both. Uh, all them people leaving like, oh, okay. All them people leaving like that? Um, 12, 13, 14 people just hitting it like that, Ty Squad? Mm. Do you think we'll ever find out, Ty Squad? I want to know so bad. Of course, y'all know I'm nosy. Ty Squad, what do y'all think? Are we going to find out? 
Would it always be a mystery? That's a damn moisturizer on my damn neck. I didn't even see it. Pasqua, would it always be a mystery? I got some damn moisturizer. Okay. Glad I wiped it away. Um, Every color. Uh, you know, all that vibrators you on jacked and shit. Um, they caught him. Um, they got caught on Jack. Oh, wow. They had unhealthy, almost infectious. Mm. Uh, Matthew, personally, he seems to have a ditty. Mm. Okay, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all going a little too deep. Okay. Um, but that's your opinion. That is your opinion based on your years in the church and watching music and stuff. Okay. Uh, yes, in the Surviving Anwa documentary. Oh, wow. I think it's a combination of things. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, y'all think the clerical mass exodus of Anwa Ministries is about Matthew Stevenson personally or something else. Mm. Danny Lewis says it's a combination of things. Somebody said, look at it. <laughs> I'll tell you this time, Slot. I can't wait to find out. Mother can't wait to find out. I think we got a. We got a LaShawn Pace. Um, LaShawn Pace. I want to talk about this really quickly. All right, Matthew, call us daddy. Um, LaShawn Pace was a beautiful woman. And if you go through her album covers, Ty Squad, she, you know, when she was wearing makeup, she was like the queen of album covers, gospel album covers. Uh, and then there was some, it was a paradigm shift and she stopped wearing makeup and she started talking anti-makeup. But I would say, um, Sean and Dottie Peebles together were the queens of beautiful album covers, and she was absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, plus size woman, but you know, and I'm not gonna say but a plus size woman and gorgeous, right? So, um, all that complete CD from the from the hospital to the church. Oh, that's a that's a show enough banger right there. Um. So I'm just saying, Ty Squad, I just wanted to just do a, a LaShawn Pace appreciation pose. And um, she was a stunningly beautiful woman, in my opinion. And um, yeah, we miss her um, in a legendary voice to boot. Probably arguably one of the best sopranos in gospel music. I'm just saying. Um, he's live. Did I send him a link to tonight's show? Because I think he's live right now. Um, I don't know. Did I send him a link? Oops. Okay, I'm supposed to send him a link. Let me see if I can send him a link because our next question is, do you think Juanita Bina would have rebooked and refunded Prophet Cody Spivy money if the story didn't go viral? Okay, Ty Squad. Do you think, Ty Squad, he would have got anything back? Let me, um, uh, cause wait a minute. I think he was live. He's live. Okay. He's, I think he do Bible study or something this time of evening. I definitely wanted to send it to him. Um, do you think Juanita Bynum would have rebooked and refunded Prophet Cody's Spivy money if the story didn't go viral? You know, because Juanita had this, Juanita has had this uh, a lot of times, High Squad. She's had a, a, a lot of uh, stories like this where, you know, something going on. Um, you know, <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, uh, old boy in Florida got involved, and it was a it was a lot going on. Oh, somebody said not one red cent. Oh, wow. Nope, because she didn't give that man his money back. She accused of panty sniffing. Oh, yeah, I remember that. The lady said, um, you know, I I lay the prophetess uh, underwear her night clothes out. I lay her panties across her bed, and everybody was like, girl. What is this about your panties? You know, and that man could have lost everything. I think his name was Pastor John something. You know, Ty Squad, everybody was like, girl. Um, yeah, I lay her panties across the bed. Do you know want to smell your panties? I was like, what's that about? Uh, I don't know, Ty Squad. What I do know is, what I do know is, um, Prophet Cody has announced that there is a, what you call it? Prophet Cody has announced that there will be a rebook date in September. So basically, in three days. And 
in three days. <laughs> okay, so uh, a lot of Task Squad members, well, like 95% of y'all said he probably wouldn't got shit back, but everybody had their eyes on this. All the bloggers were talking about it, the church bloggers and, you know, the regular bloggers. Uh, God blocked the book. Uh, well, yeah, because that woman's head almost got took off. Uh-huh. Thank y'all for tuning in. Why don't we take a break really quickly, Ty Squad, and do our likes and try to raise a little cash for our buckets. Why don't we take a small break right now? Don't you just love me? Don't you, you know, don't you just love me, Ty Squad? Say you love me. Say you love me. Say I'm the one your heart feels. Say yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah. Say you love me. <laughs> Say you love me. Say you damn love me. Okay. Okay, Ty Squad, why don't we get a, a like check? Uh, I know you do, Sappho. Um, one of my followers hit me up today and just showed some love. She lost her husband um, March 5th. And, um, man, them kind of messages, I've been something that has been a joy to her. She's been taking care of her husband for 10 years with Alzheimer's. And he, she lost him on the 5th of March. And I'm the one that, like, man, I, I, listen, that kind of stuff blows me away. Me? And these girls were right here talking about I'm crazy and I'm stuck on the story, but I'm blessing these people like this? 263 likes. Come on, y'all. We can do better. Come on. I'm going to be nice tonight. I'm not going to be mean. Uh, also, everybody that can, if you need to, please sow a seed. Tonight's number is 999, if you can. 999. Triple nines, okay? Let's get these triple nines, because we're not going to do 666. So let's flip it up. If you can, 999 tonight. That is our number. Uh, whatever you see, make sure triple nines is in it, okay? Um, 1999, 999, 99.99, $199.99. Thank y'all so much. Um, somebody just sent a PayPal. Thank you. Uh, great show. Thank you so much. Uh huh. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mother, I didn't reset anything at all, like you said. I still can't get into the chat. It's still saying subscribers only, Ma. Okay. Mode. Make sure you, Laversa Moore, make sure you are logged in, you know, and make sure you, okay. I, I, I don't know. I remember when I, you just sent me this right now, 646. I remember when I was blocked like this out of the chat before it was because that messy ass St. James. Oh, wow. I was innocent then and I'm innocent now. I didn't want any smoke. And even after all that, I supported through the, throughout the deaths of my dad in 2020, five other, I don't remember all that, uh, Laversa, five other loved ones and my dear mother less than a year ago. And I still support your talents gift. I know, I know, according to doctors, I need community now for my survival. I am in chemotherapy now, fighting breast cancer. Okay. And not being able to joke and chat with anyone on the platform saddens me. Okay, Laversa Moore, I don't know. I looked. I'm sorry, Laversa Moore. Oh my God. This makes, this is, it makes you feel horrible. Okay. I'm hoping this can be resolved so that I can continue to be a part of the Mighty Mighty Tie Squad. I appreciate you, Pam, Thais, keep Doing what you do, thanks. Oh, now, now I feel horrible. Oh, girl. Now I feel damn horrible. I, I don't know what to say, Miss LaVersa. Trying to figure this out. I can look tonight. I mean, I can go and take, you know, hold on one second. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know, sometimes people, they'll use these, you know, things, you know, and then, you know, they'll try to trigger you. I, I think she. I think she's legitimate. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh my God! And this is. I, I don't do this, but I'm gonna try. Let me try this. Let me try this. Cause I don't. I just don't know, honey. I don't know. 
And then when you you really wasn't chatting like that when you was when you was able to chat, you really wasn't chatting like that, Mama uh, Mama uh, V. <clears throat> Let me see something, Task Squad. Receive it, mother. Is she on the app? I don't know. Um, Laversa Moore. Laversa Moore. I opened the chat up. Well, now it's going to open me up to these people. These uh, haters. You know, um, they may not, but my moms are quick. But Laversa, can you try now? Say something now. Fix it, Jesus, for real. Miss Moore, can you say something? And if you can't get in the chat now, email me and let me know. Thank you, um, 007. Yeah, thank you, baby. Um, thank you so much, Overseer Aware. I'll look in the, I'll look in the, um, Mother is stopping the show for you, boo. I, I, you know. So, Laversa, can you try now and see if you can type something? Because sometimes the oldest saints, honey, it'd be a lot going on. And then you look and you find out something that's like, oh, my God. They don't be logged into Facebook. They don't really be doing, you know. It'd be like, girl. Okay, did we get the 999, honey? How much money did we raise, baby? Because I'm trying to do the best I can. Okay, we had 200. We had 200 already. Okay, so we got, okay, so uh, we're 100, about 100. How short are we, baby? We're $46 short. Okay. Y'all keep sitting the nine ninety nine in. We forty six dollars short. We had two hundred already. Okay, so that means y'all didn't gave one hundred and fifty four dollars. Okay, so we already started with two hundred from yesterday. So then one fifty four ninety five is what we made. Okay, so now we need forty six more dollars, right? Okay, forty five oh five is what we need. Forty five oh five. I'm gonna try to find her tonight. Ties, where, uh, where was you earlier? See, this is why I don't like opening this up. Can you believe the pick three today was all nines? 999 pick three today. I got to close this thing back up, honey. I can't. I'm sorry. Miss LaVersa, we're praying for you. We love you. As soon as I open this thing up, honey, these people just come out the woodworks. Oh, no, 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 no. Miss LaVersa, where was you? I needed to play 999. Okay, baby. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, hell no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss LaVersa, um, baby, we'll, we'll, we'll look into it. We're going to make sure we're looking to getting you back in here. But let me close this up real quick. Oh, ooh, Jesus. Mm -mm. Oh, no, 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 honey. Okay, there we go. Let's add three more days to that, baby. Let's add three more days to it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add three more days. <laughs> oh, hell no. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, so hold on one second. Mm. Who just said all that, buddy? Oh, my God. Economist Intelligence, Malika Hill, thank y'all so much. It just came in like an influx, both of y'all at the same time. They both said the same, let's say the same person on different pages. Thank y'all so much. Oh, my God. We closed the gap, and we still have $94 left over. Okay, now all we need is $6, Ty Squad, for real, and then we done. We done for the night. All we need is 6 bucks, Ty Squad. Somebody, uh, uh, five bucks. We need five bucks. That's all we need. It's five bucks. Oh, hey, thank you. Ooh, we need five bucks. Move quickly. I got to do a praise break. I don't know where all that money just came from that fast. Um, thank y'all so much for those $50 cash apps. Can we do just a quick praise break just really quickly? Oh. Mm. Ooh. <laughs>
It's already done, Ty Squad. Oh, it's already done. Say it's already done, Mama Shark. It's already done. Okay, I'm gonna give you member service, Crystal. Yeah, I'm gonna give uh, uh, somebody catch up before she fall and hit her head. Y'all can't afford no damn loss to. Let's get back on Dr. Ty Squad. Thank y'all so much for all of the love and financial uh, reciprocity. Uh, we have a talking point. Oh, okay. Um, a lot of LGBTQ people want to know why Daryl Walls, why Daryl Walls has gotten so much love. <laughs> And, you know, have been able to skate by some of the religiosity and some of the orthodoxy and some of the hermeneutics of the toxic LGBT dogma from the church. He's been able to still maintain, I would say, a gospel presence. A You know, and a lot of, a lot of people are like, you know, we didn't, we currently and previously didn't get that luxury. You know, I always say, Tyler Perry, you one lucky bitch. You know, some people that is real lucky. You know, I don't know, Tyler why he's able, you know, he's been able to, you know, maintain the, 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 I don't know, toe the line. Is this another, no, this is just a talking point. As a talking point. Well, y'all can ask, answer the question if you want to, now, Tyler I don't know. Um, you know, there was a less sex tape back in the day. They're never confirmed. Somebody was laying on their side getting plowed. That was a lead sex tape. And then recently there was a kiss on a um, you know, close friends on Instagram. That blew over. This guy is real lucky. You're real lucky. Uh uh, uh Daryl Walls. Wow. Um, pretty privileged. Oh, baby, because he good looking. Oh, he sure likes walking around. Oh, okay. I noticed that uh, too. You noticed that he know he's fine. Oh, well, maybe he was able to get by because um, you know what I'm saying. Ugly people have to uh, go through more, and, and, and you know what I'm saying. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are really showing the hell out tonight. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deal with y'all tonight. Thank y'all so much, Tyswa. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Uh, I think it's because he's attractive. I never thought of that stuff. I never thought of that, sis. Hey, Butch Queen Powers, you know what? <laughs> you know what a hair? I cannot. Okay, stop, y'all. I can't do it with no more money. I can't. I, what am I gonna do with all this money? Should I give it away? He wears those gray sweats on IG. Oh, uh, okay. Listen, Daryl. At the end of the day, you are a very talented young man. You are anointed. I do feel something when you sing. But we just want to let you know, the gay community, you are really lucky that you're up there and you're still getting booked and don't nobody ask you no questions. You know what I'm saying? What did Lunell say? And your teeth is straight and your uh, your your mustache is clean and, and, and your eyes are white and your teeth are white and your muscles are right. Your tattoo is <laughs> your tattoos are perfectly angled. Your sunglasses are clean. Your shorts fit you just right. And you know. <laughs> He never technically came out. Same thing as Ricky Dillard, James Hall. Okay, wait a minute. Who is this baby? Let me see what's going on. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, oh, that's Jabray. He never technically came out. Same thing as Ricky D, James Hall. We all know, but it's not said full stop. That is a good point, Jabray. Because technically, no, he has not. I, that is a good point, brother. And so... Rumors and speculation and an accidental kiss is not, um, is not, uh, thank you, Ms. V. I'm going to work on your case tonight, Ms. V. Thank you so much. Ricky Dillard is straight. No, we're not saying that. Uh-huh. Okay, Ms. V, we're going to work on your case. I'm so sorry you can't get in the chat. I don't know what's going on, but tonight after the show, I'm going to make it my business to see what's going on. 
Okay, and we're gonna help you. We're also gonna help you, Miss V, um, set up a secondary page. I'm gonna walk you through it myself. We're gonna walk through a lot of y'all, the older saints. We're gonna give y'all some backup pages and show y'all how to go over to your backup page. Okay. Um, we love you, Miss V. I want you to be here, and I'm glad that I'm a respite for you during these uh, 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 trying times. I sent you some on PayPal. Thank you so much, Gail Coleman. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are just, it's just too much. It's too much. Daryl Walls, we'll get back to you in a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Report back to me. Uh-huh, wait a minute. Let me see something. It's just too much. This money and the way y'all love on me and stuff. Sometimes I don't know. I want to cry, but I hold it in, you know? These people, they, they try to comfort me and say I'm mean and stuff and say I'm all of this. Uh and y'all still love me anyways. Somebody sent some on PayPal. Wait a minute. Uh, Chase, you got all these questions left, girl. You better hurry up. Okay, you talking about Daryl Walls and his many walls, and you still got all these damn questions left over. Thank you, I McDonald. I love you for life, too. And you still got some more talking points. Oh, okay, let's get to the questions, that's why. Okay, Daryl, call us, um, baby. Call us, baby. We'll get back to you. Okay. Um, Eddie Long has a complicated legacy. It has been seven years since his passing. Would a hard-hitting, candid documentary help or worsen his legacy? Oh, Thais, too, Thais, baby, too deep, too deep. Eddie Long has a complicated legacy. It has been seven years since his passing. Would a hard-hitting, candid documentary help or worsen his legacy you know kind of like the one they did on hill song you know sometimes you can explain some things if everybody just be honest you know what i'm saying mm. that's why what we doing we doing a documentary to help or who said worse who said that uh let him rest well you know when you're a public figure you know we can let you rest uh tiffany shell but you're a public figure honey we you know if somebody want to do a documentary, they're going to do a documentary, Tiffany. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the truth is the truth. I mean, I don't know, Ty Squad. Now, some of them stories with them boys over there was a little suspect. We can go on. Um, no, Hillsong was not a nothing pie. I don't know which one you saw, Linnell, but uh, no, 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 no. You couldn't have saw the same Hillsong documentary I saw. Because, baby, listen. The one that came on ID, Investigation Discovery, they would get into it deeply. They would gloss over it. They wouldn't, yeah, like that book they put out. Oh, uh, well, maybe y'all will just move on. Maybe we'll just let Red, uh, like Tiffany say, just let him rest. But a lot of y'all got to understand when you're public figures, you know, you don't get the courtesy to just let it rest. Move on. No, honey, these are public figures. I'm trying to see what documentary did he see? He said it was a nothing pie. Eddie can't defend himself. Watch this, watch this. You know what, me, I can't. <laughs> Not me, I can't. Where can I find the Hillsong documentary? I saw it on um, ID, on the ID channel. Hillsong was not a nothing by like, baby. Well, maybe Linnell was, maybe Linnell was over there going to Hillsong. Linnell, were you a Hillsong member, bro, bro? Were you a Hillsong member? Listen. If they put out this documentary, Ty Squad, I don't know what to say. Because they tell me Eddie Long took the fall for a lot of people. They say Eddie Long took the fall for a lot of people. Now, I don't know. I don't know, Ty Squad. I don't know how this going to go. It may be on Max now. Okay. Edna May Long. You know what? Okay, that's going to be our cue. Because we're behind, Ty Squad. We are behind. So, um, Gail, I'll put up a, a flyer. We're behind. Okay, what we got now? Okay, we cleared the questions. So then, okay, okay, okay. So tonight is the final night we will be discussing Manessa Jordan. If you are happy that this is going to be the final discussion of Manessa Jordan, put red hearts in the chat. I hope it don't be no sea of red. Oh, I'm going to feel horrible if it's a sea of red. If you're happy this is the final discussion of Vanessa Jordan, put red hearts in the chat. Okay. Oh, Lord, please don't let it be a whole bunch of red hearts. 
Uh, this is our final discussion. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. It's okay. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it, Thais. Wow. Okay, this is going to be our last, our last. Um, okay. Our last discussion. We won't be discussing it again unless there is a development with a lawsuit, right? Okay. Unless the paperwork come out. And that's my disclaimer. Tonight is the last time, right? So the question I'm going to ask you guys, and you have three choices, okay? Uh, what is his hair? I don't know, baby. That's, he's very eclectic. Okay, so here we go. Do you, Ty Squad member, think there will be a lawsuit? Yes? No? I don't know. Yes. Do you think there will be a lawsuit? We'll go ahead and answer right now. I like it too, but you know, it's people are tired. People are tired of the riddles and the blues clues. Yes. No. I don't know. Do you think there will be a lawsuit? A claim? Uh huh. The Red Sea. Okay. When I think of him, I think okay. No, they're dropping it, dragging it. Okay. No, none of them want to go through discovery. Okay. Okay, so we can clean this out. We can clean this out tonight, close this out. Okay, we got some yeses. Uh, somebody, uh, a lady by the name of Josephine Wheeler. Um, mm. Nick says the envelopes are out. No, <laughs> stop. Oh, oh, they're gonna, um, they're gonna lady that say it's all coming out of Texas. Wonder Woman. Oh. Look at Wonder Woman 1923. She says it's all coming out of Texas. Maybe Brother Dean had a dream. Oh, wow. Wow, Darnell Kendricks. Oh, wow. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay. Okay, so I'm, you locked out of the chat. Uh, Marla, you locked out of the chat too now? Okay, it's okay. Hold on one second. Hold on. He already can't. Oh, wow. Who said that? Okay. Marla's locked out of the chat now. Okay. Give me a second, Ty Squad. I got to come up with something, Ty Squad. I got to come up with something. Oh, God. Okay. Now she locked out of the chat. Okay. A lot of bloggers don't handle this stuff uh, on the air, but I love the Ty Squad. Okay. Let me see. Let me let me see what I can do. Ooh, okay. Okay. I don't know how these people be locked out of the chat if you're already subscribed. Like, how are you locked out of the chat and I just put a 10-day subscriber thing on? Like, I, I don't know. Oh, my God. I think they be resetting their notifications. And that is not my fault. It's not. It's not my fault that you're resetting your notifications. Please stop doing that. Please stop resetting your notifications. Okay. And they be saying, no, I don't do that. Okay, well, I don't know what y'all doing. Um, you don't know Jocelyn Faison? Okay, we need a better answer. We're going to need you to come down here to the mic, Jocelyn. Okay, you don't know whether there's going to be a lawsuit filed about T.D. Jakes and stuff? You don't know? Jocelyn Faison, we need, a we need a better answer. You're a dignitary here. <laughs> You're a dignitary, Jocelyn Faison. You weathered the fire and the storm. Does anybody think the lawyers may be Jake's fans and they're dragging purposely? Or I'm into it too deep. Ooh, that's good, Curtis. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't touch nothing. Marla, I don't know what's going on, baby. There you are. You're back, okay? You're back, Marla. Okay. Love you, Marla. Mm-hmm. Uh, can y'all please stop touching stuff? You back, Marla. We love you. Okay, Marla? He didn't need a check. Uh, he don't want his secrets to be exposed, so he leaving TDB. Okay. Well, how you... Uh, uh, Wonder Woman 
Um, that's Joanne Bailey Matthews' daughter, everybody. How, how you know so much about it? Uh, how you got all this tea? He didn't need a check. No, Melissa don't need no money. Uh, he don't want his secrets to be exposed, so he leaving TDB. Okay, well, can you give us, uh, let us drop the link for you. Uh huh. Why don't we drop the link for you real quick so you can give us a little more because that's uh, that's some heavy lifting right there, sis. Um, there's a link for you, um, Wonder Woman 1921. Hit that link and tell us some more. I'm jealous of his eyebrows. They look perfect. Uh, CC, we're not worried about these eyebrows right now. Y'all talking about eyebrows and lipstick and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, um, facial mist right now. We ain't worried about that shit, CC. Uh, Curtis, that's got to be it. Uh, you want to hit the league Wonder Woman 21, or you just want to watch tonight, honey? Uh, you know, sometimes you just want to watch. Are you going to hit the link or what? We got to hurry up and get on to our next subject. I can't be here all night. That will be the last, uh, what's that man name? Vanessa Jordan story, y'all. You don't have to worry. Uh, we got another. Um, okay, we was, trying to, we was trying to wait for Wonder Woman, um, but I don't know what's going on with her, baby. The link is still available, Wonder Woman, if you want to come. Okay. Uh, his name is H.B. Charles Jr. And baby, somebody need to tell him, honey, uh, listen, he better drive Bishop Wooden, Patrick Wooden of, of North Carolina, crazy. Somebody better go get uh, um, Bishop Wooden and, <coughs> and tell him. Okay. H.B. Charles says, the truth is, okay, the truth is, um, the pulpit is not the place for personal testimonies, political speeches, group therapy sessions, motivational talks, self-help advice, worldly philosophies, or scientific theories. The pulpit is the throne of the word of God. Therefore, the sacred text must be the priority of our preaching. Okay, so basically, are you saying, sir, H.B. Charles Jr., you over there, shy old Baptist bishop? Okay, listen, are you saying that you just supposed to get in the pulpit and just preach the word of God only? Okay, I can go with that, bro, bro. I mean, listen, uh, Tasha, what y'all think? You're not supposed to be up there in the pulpit talking about gay folks and and and, and, and uh, all of this stuff and laying these people out. Good evening, uh, and really enjoy your. Oh, well, thank you, Dewan Carl. Thank you, brother. Where are you watching us from tonight? I can't. I'm not feeling well today, Ty. Okay, sis, I know. Uh, lay down. Lay down and watch us from your bed. This prolonged delay means no. Okay. Then it got Mia Mia on the microphone. Then it brought Mia Mia to the damn mic tonight. Uh, well, the Civil Rights movie was all in the pool pit. Okay. Chat with the shade made a good point. Okay, so the okay the pulpit is not the place for personal testimonies, political speeches, group therapy sessions, uh, political speeches. Okay, self help advice. Do anybody agree? The civil rights movement would have never happened if it weren't the church's activation. Okay, well you know maybe the civil rights movement really used the pulpit as like a uh, you know like an announcement that we have something going on and like a rallying cry, not necessarily political. I don't know, Ty's why. Oh, this is too heavy. Uh, anybody agree? The pulpit is a throne of the word of God. Therefore, the sacred text must be the priority of our preaching. Uh, talk on the floor. Oh, wow. <laughs> Stop. I cannot. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, Tom Scott. Um, I just watch how people move. I've been involved in church all my life. Once I left church, it was like the cover was lifted. I watched patterns, and I've seen plenty of people moving similarly. Okay, Wonder Woman, nineteen twenty-one. The Jesus ministry. I was gonna say, well, yeah, you know, listen, Jesus was a radical. He was, you know, out there now turning over tables and stuff, and writing in the, in the dirt and stuff um uh, brother charles hb charles jr uh we may have to get back with you on this one brother hb charles i mean i understand the premise i understand the premise of where you're going with this bro bro but i don't know i need to watch one of his sermons okay hb charles jr hb charles jr 
and then y'all tell me what y'all think. Uh, because listen, I don't know. Did you are y'all enjoying tonight? Let me know, y'all. Let me know if y'all are enjoying tonight. You know what I'm saying? Um are, are you enjoying on uh, uh, um, this? Oh my god, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh HB Charles Jr. Top Squad, check him out. Okay, we still got people coming in on the microphone. I don't agree the pulpit is man-made construct. Uh, it can be used for anything. What does the throne of the word of God even mean? Jesus preached and taught everywhere, not just the pulpit. That's why she's in, you know, that's why she's where she's at. Over there, over there at the college and university and stuff. Mm, I like that. I like that. I just want, I just want somebody to just stick it to uh 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 Bishop Wooden about all those pulpit. I think that's why my, my view is skewed right now. Because I want somebody to stick it to him about them pulpit um antics, stick it to him theologically, you know. Mm. <clears throat> you are simply the best. Well, child, you know, they run right here talking about I'm uh, I'm all kind of things. I thought I think I'm sweet. I don't think I'm sweet. Wooden is and learn like that. Oh, okay, Lamar. Okay, Tasqua. Uh, what do we have? We gotta keep the fire burning. We gotta keep the fire burning. Are you enjoying tonight? Oh, we got justice for Denise. Okay, we're just gonna take a moment. Just a quick moment. Okay, everybody, please stand up. Stand up. Once a year, we do a justice for Denise commemoration. I'm choosing today. Uh, can we all stand up? If you do not stand up, we're gonna put the damn camera on you. Please stand up and we commemorate justice for Denise. And please don't inbox me or in email me to my what 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 justice? What did somebody do to her? Don't worry about it. It's damn justice for damn Denise. Please don't trigger me. Okay. So do you all please stand up and we do once a year justice for Denise. Okay. Day. And we're gonna do it today for eleven. Uh, thank y'all for hashtag justice for Denise. This is right after Karen. This is right after Karen told her, where you riding? This is right after that. You can see Twinkie in the back with the Queen Latifah hat on. This is right after Karen told her, where you riding? Mm-hmm. St. Karen, Lamar. And she had just went in there and, and uh, uh, eulogized her mother. Somebody said it's Jackie's fault. Elder Clark was so young in that picture. Let me tell y'all something, Tasqua. When I say justice for Denise, I live in, it's in my blood, Tasqua. It's in my DNA. It's all in my veins and stuff. This is right after Karen told her. So somebody came, I guess they came and got her and took her to another car. Karen allegedly said, according to the movie, you know, where you going? Who car you riding in? Uh, patron St. Karen that walks on waters and, and, and feed people with the fishes and the loaves. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Well, that's how I see it in my mind. Uh -huh, that's how I had the dream, that's why, you know, like Dion. Don't get cussed out inboxing me talking about what is this justice for? It's for whatever I want it to be. Don't get your feelings hurt. I watch your show. I love your show. What is this justice for? What did somebody do? Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I said what it was for. Now, who is this baby? Okay, Donnie McClurkin. Donnie McClurkin, y'all, um, said on the unsung, um, uncensored episode, and that clip, it, it, it surfaces every now and then, especially in the religious circles. I just saw it on Instagram, and um, basically Donald McClurkin said in the Uncensored episode that, you know, he's had a sprinkling, and that caught my attention, Ty Squad. Um, I, don't, I would play it, y'all, but I don't trust TV One. I'm trying to get my full money tonight. I'm just being honest. I would play the clip, but I don't trust TV One and her shenanigans. But Donnie said he's had a sprinkling of men and women. That's a direct quote. Throughout his life, a sprinkling. We're trying to figure out, Danny, listen, we're not trying to cause no problem. 
I'm not going to talk about Memphis or none of that. Donnie, when you say a sprinkling, you had a sprinkling of men and women, bro, bro. How, like, a sprinkle, I think about them little things that go on the cakes and the cupcakes. Sprinkles. Like, what are we talking like? Robo 50-50? What are we doing, 60-40, uh, Donnie? You said you've had a sprinkling, a sprinkling of men and women. Uh, well, you know, I've heard some, you know, listen. <laughs> That's what he said. That's the exact word. I had a sprinkling of both men and women. Well, how many men was it? And how many women was it? What's your real preference, Donnie? Because we know you said, you know, you said you don't know what women want. Well, you know, you need to give it sound and give us more uh, about the sprinkles and stuff. And the sprinkles. <laughs> Brittany Chill, love you about the sprinkles. Okay, Tosh, well, tell me this. What do y'all think, you know, that means? Because, you know, I'm not I'm not smart to this kind of stuff. Tosh, well, what do y'all think that means? What do y'all think it means a sprinkling of both men and women? Like a sprinkle? Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle? Chickadee? What are we talking? <laughs> oh, they go, oh, they go, they're going to be in my, oh, they're going to blow my email up. More like a shower of, mmm, undetermined. Most gay men don't know what women want. Wow. Open the floodgates, Dunny. Ain't no more. Uh, just a tiny bit, Sam, just a little bit. Okay, Dunny, they say you had to say little bitty. <laughs> on Uncensored, on TV One, Dunny said, I've had both a sprinkling of men and women throughout my life. You had to say little bit, just a teeny bit, just a sprinkle. <laughs> I die. Oh, well, let me go through here and see if I cleaned out this deck, Ty Squad. Make sure I cleaned out the deck, uh, so we can. Oh my God. Mm, mm -hmm. Make sure I ain't left no slide, no slide left behind. Uh, we want to shout out. Um, want to shout out all of our topics tonight. We want to shout out Brian Carn. Brian Carn. We want to shout out our girl Loretta. Loretta. Uh, Bishop Jakes. We want to shout out Bishop Jakes. It's all coming out of Texas. Uh, overall, overall father, uh, Matthew Stevenson. Shout you out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Juanita and, and, and Prophet Cody. Uh huh. The Jacksonville tobacco. Want to shout him out. And Juanita. We want to shout out uh, uh, Bishop Eddie Long. May he rest. In peace. May he rest eternally in peace. And we want to shout out Daryl Walls and his many walls. What a night. What a monumental night. We've cleared the deck. Uh, and Donnie and his sprinkles and sprinklings and stuff. Okay, I think we cleared the deck, Time Squad. Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Let me see. Got it, got it. Yeah, I think we cleared the deck, Time Squad. Mm-hmm. Donnie, at the end of the day, baby, people are gonna tell you, honey, you better go get you some good loving. You better go get you some good meat, mama. And, and, and you know, let your hair down, honey, and go in, in there and bite you that by the pillow. Don't live your life, honey, for these church people. In the end, honey, when this life is over, it's just over. This is it, Donnie. Uh, he said he had a sprinkling, a sprinkling time squad. It's still 473 in the chat. I thank y'all for tuning into this um, auspicious, auspicious um, night of um, down at the church. Tonight would have been Patreon, but uh, Patreon will be moved to Saturday, right? So we'll be live Saturday with Patreon, and I thank y'all so much. Um, I'm going to stay out of my email while I'm live. I think Crystal Marshall, if you're still here, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to stay out of my email while I'm live. Whatever happens, I'll have to take care of it because I be it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Okay. So we ask everybody that can, uh, if you can, uh, please start making your way to your cars. If you're double parked, um, thank you all, everybody on um, PayPal. Uh, thank y'all on PayPal as well. Um, if you're double parked, 
now is the time to start making your way uh, out the parking lot. We're going to sit here and we're going to talk for uh, a moment or two longer. Mm-hmm. My mother got to eat. I got to eat. That's why. I got to speak. I got to feed the spiritual man as well. Uh, keep the fire burning. I know y'all would love me to keep the very good. Oh, thank you. I'm McDonald. Thank you so much. Great show. Uh, into the, oh, thank y'all so much. Was it really great? Let me go around here and see. Are they still doing the show over there at that other church? Let me see. I feel like being messy. I like being messy. Sometimes messy is good. Let me see. Let me see if they still live over there at that other church. Oh, let me see. <laughs> oh. Oh, they got off the air. They, oh, they got off the air 12, 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Girl. <laughs> This ain't for everybody, honey. You just can't just be on the air just talking about anything, honey. You got to bring some fire when you're a gospel commentator, when you're a church of Auburn. You just can't be just getting up on the air. Girl, what was you thinking? That you just get on the damn air and just start talking? Your personality don't con is not conducive with this. There's power over here. There's oil. I know how to do this. I know how to, I know what I'm doing. And it don't take me long. It don't take you long when you know what you're doing. They was over there, honey. You know, my sister was over there, so we should we send her love and stuff. We send her love, but listen, Ty Squad. <laughs> some of these girls need to realize this is a hobby. For well, some of these girls, it's a hobby. For me, I, this is my job. This is what I do for a living. So I take this shit serious. I take this shit serious, Ty Squad. This is what I do, girl. This ain't no, I don't do this on the side. I don't do this on the side. This is what I do for a living. Um, you are a one man show. Oh, thank you so much. You made me think about the personality of cold lasagna. Wow. Uh, the foiled turkey is still alive. Mm, it's still live. Oh, I'm not talking about him. Is he live? I don't get notification. I'm not talking about him, sweetheart. Uh, let me see. Is that other person still alive around there? Let me check him out. Oh, he's not even in my thing anymore because I don't, I don't, mm -mm. Oh, he live. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, he over there live. I wasn't talking about him. Uh, Kelly Price. Oh, okay, they like, <laughs> oh, they, they stop. I had no idea. Oh, they got a whole panel. All right, go ahead on, y'all. Oh, I'm surprised. I, I won't be surprised if my name ain't brought up, honey, or if I don't come up. Mm. Oh, they still lie. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. They lie. Not the, uh, not the other guy. <laughs> Not him. I ain't talking about him. Oh, oh, they got a nice crowd tonight. They got a nice crowd tonight. Oh, that's that's a nice number for them. That's a nice number. Why are we messy like this, Ty Squad? Why are we messy? We had a great time tonight. Let's not be messy. Let's just be. <laughs> that's a good number for them, though, Ty Squad. No shade. They don't really see numbers like that often. I'm just saying. Mmm. Oh, they probably talking about, um, oh, yeah, of course, you know. That's what they talking about. I got it. Okay. Girl, at the end of the day, honey, I talked about this already. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, basically, Ty Squad, what we have is um, the names were announced. The names were announced today. Um, who's going to be running? And I think we got those. Do we have those? This is the current Presidium Ty Squad. And let's go through some of the names. Um, um, okay, it's a long, I'm not gonna read all these names, Ty Squad. But yeah, of course, J. Drew Shear, Jerry Macklin, Lawrence Wooten, Brandon Porter, Michael Hill, Daryl Hines, Prince Bryant, David Hall, Malcolm Colby, C.H. McClellan, McClellan, McClellan. Elijah Hankerson, Jerry Maynard, Alfonso Denson, Daniel Littleton, D. Walls, 
Wait a minute, D Walls. Oh, wait a minute. What's his name? Is running. Oh my God, I am gagging. Patrick Wooden is running, Tasha. Are y'all serious? I know y'all lying. Also, that's why Dion is having these fantasies. It says Patrick Wooden. Dion, that's why you're having them dreams in the South. Patrick Wooden, uh, Destry Bell, Edwin Walker, Linwood Dillard, Antoine White, Don Shelby, Liddell Thomas, Martinell Johnson, David Heron, and William Wright. Okay. He's running. Okay. Running for his life. Tell me this, Ty Squad. Do y'all think Bishop Shit? Okay, let's talk about it for a few seconds, Ty Squad. Do y'all think Bishop Shit can get unseated? Like, is that why he down there building these clinics and, 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 and hospitals and stuff? Be honest, that's why. Do y'all think there's a possibility that Bishop Shear could, you know, there'll be a um, what you call it, an upset? Hold on. Okay. Uh, overseer where it says nope. So y'all think Bishop Shear got it in the bag? Um, Pat said it can happen. I think it's a big possibility. I do. Um, because you can't wait until the year of an election to start building hospitals and, and clinics and stuff. Unfortunately, I think he will still be the presiding bishop. That's coming from True Blue. All in politics. Yeah. Mm. The next question is, Tasquad. Okay, hold on. The, the next question is, y'all, do y'all think Bishop Shea would have the influence he have if he was not married to Karen. I think she was saying, would he have this influence if he wasn't married to Karen? Talk to me, Todd Squad. Would he be a household name if, if, if Karen wasn't his wife? You know, because, the, you know, the Clark name, you know, has a little pull too, Todd Squad. Let's just keep it a buck, you know. Mm. Um, it's possible as messy as they are. Oh, wow. That's why I don't know. I don't know. That's why. Mm -hmm. Nope. She has star power. Um, no, it's like riding on her skirt tail. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, I'll say this. That's why. Um, Karen is a powerful force by herself. And with her sisters. So it's just, it just, it depends. It really, it depends on quite a few factors. I think he would. The Shears were very powerful back in the day. The Shears name goes back, back in coaching history. Okay. But Karen don't help, no, don't hurt. I think the people wanted Karen as first lady and Drew is just uh, uh, as an accessory. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now that's, that's kind of heavy. Okay. Um, the walrus would not have that kind of power or influence. Okay. Mm. What I will say is this, Ty Squad. This is what I'll say. Um, the Salt Lake City debacle should have some type of, you know what I'm saying, dent or effect on this guy. The Salt Lake City debacle should have something like. Will they take that into account? That this man went to the damn uh, uh, Mormons and tried to set up some backdoor um, deals and stuff. Will that have an effect, Ty Squad? You know, now you over here trying to open up a, a medical clinic at the last hour. Mm-hmm. Uh, we covered that earlier in the show, Ty Squad. Do we still have it? Mm. Right there on the right, you see they're over there at the clinic in Memphis. Um, I guess they're going to have a medical clinic. And this is from Brandon Porter's page, that squad. Ah, this is from Brandon Porter's page. They're going to open up a damn clinic. Mm. Let me, let me, let me pull this up. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. 
Let me see if I can pull this up. Okay, Brant Bishop Porter. Um, Kojic is building a full service clinic in the Memf in Memphis. Okay, you 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 miswrote that, baby. Okay, so Kojic is building a full service clinic in Memphis, over nine thousand square feet. Um, that's not really big, but okay. Um, for a clinic, that's not really huge. However. Um, and more cities to come. Wow, what a vision. A full presentation will be made by our Kojic National PR Department. Oh, y'all got a PR? Oh, ain't that nice? Y'all got a PR department? Oh, okay, wow. Mm. Can I? Can y'all tell me this? Who is, um, who is Bishop Wooden running against? Does anybody know? Pasquale, who is Bishop Wood running against? I need to get, I want to get involved in that race. You know, can somebody tell me uh, who is Bishop Wooden running against? I want to get involved in that damn race. See if I can um, pull some, swing some votes by there. Uh-huh. It's likely Medicare is the primary financer of these clinics, just like the hood lick. I was going to say some things, Harold, but you know they always say, uh, I'm biased and I hate these folks. Well, honey, listen, I already know y'all is not coming out y'all pockets. Uh, uh, uh. Not when y'all allegedly got $12 million missing and y'all building clinics and stuff. Like, child, please, honey. But see, I don't want to say that, Harold, because, you know, they already say y'all just don't like them people. I don't know these damn people. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Um, it's likely Medicare is the primary, primary finance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did anybody put who um who is Bishop? What's his name? Bishop Wooden running again. So anybody know? Inbox me or email me. Who is he trying to unseat? I know my people. We're gonna make a, a cane. Right, a coin. We're gonna make a coin. Right, uh, uh Harold. Okay, Tasqua. I thank y'all. Um I thank y'all for tuning in tonight. We're not going to labor long. We've covered everything we needed to cover tonight. Um, I'll find it. Okay, thank you so much. We don't really we don't really follow that man over there in North Carolina. Ask Siri. Uh, <laughs> He's running against the whole general board. Oh, wow. Carol, this is the first time y'all using this convention money for something amazing. <laughs> that little boy is something else. Oh, uh, uh huh. Oh, she might know. Okay, we'll ask her. Ava Monroe. Uh, <laughs> I gotta eat, Time Squad. I'm hungry. Eat. What y'all? What are y'all having tonight, Time Squad? Tell me that, Time Squad, before we get up out of here. What are y'all having tonight? Mm. What are you having tonight? I got to get these lips together. Thank y'all so much, those that gave. Those that gave. Let's get a total so we can show um, these demons and warlocks what the Time Squad does. Um, you know, let me see. What's the total? Wow. Wow. Thank y'all so much. Okra, shrimp, and sausage. Put me a little bowl with some aluminum foil over it. Hair designs by Star. Put me a little bowl on the side. Thank y'all, Tasqua. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Thank you so much. No words. Brisket, cabbage, green beans, and cornbread. Uh, I have sockeye salmon and Brussels sprouts. I got some salmon in there from them uh, from Factor. I don't know what I'm gonna eat, Ty Squad. Brisket, cabbage, green beans. Oh my God! Chicken wings, fried or baked, Patricia. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you gotta go to your car, if you gotta head off, we thank y'all for coming by. Thank you. We love you. Thank you so much. We love you. We're not gonna be much longer. 
Mm. For some reason, the aluminum foil has uh, brought out all the stores. For some reason, the aluminum foil has been brought out all of the stores. Okay, I, I got it. <laughs> Boom, boom. Got it, sis. Uh, fried. Okay. What was your size? Please return the fans because we're short on fans. Ty, do you eat beef? I've been slowing down. I've been slowing down, I McDonald. Sweet dreams, Ty. Enjoy your dinner. I have fajitas. Thank you, Saki. Thank you so much. That's why we ask everybody to please start making your way out of here. I, I try not to eat as much beef because, you know, um, they say that beef ain't good for you. Uh-huh. There won't be an after show tonight. We're asking everybody to please go to bed. Please leave here and go home and get in the bed and cover up. We're asking everybody tonight to please get in your car, go home, and go to sleep. <laughs> there will be no after show, y'all sleep, night musings, or none of that. We're asking everybody to please get in your damn car, go home, and go to bed. And let's get ready for Friday. Oh. Uh, Y'all think they're going to have a funeral for O.J. Simpson, Ty Squad? Y'all think they're going to have like an Aretha-like funeral for O.J. or it's going to be private? Yeah, they're going to have to do it private because people will pick at it. People will throw eggs and stuff. I was cooking while listening to the live. Oh, wow. Uh, what they going to do, Ty Squad? Are we having a homegrown service or what? What are we doing? No private? Yeah, they better do private. And like Forest Lawn or one of those nice cemeteries, something like that. Mm hmm. Uh, you know, OJ was just one of those kind of people that people love to hate over Sea Aware. Uh, most likely a private funeral. Is anybody going to Tie Squad going? Are y'all going Tie Squad or what? Yay, nay. Yeah, we go. Are y'all going to Squad? Anybody want to go? Uh, side note, I had to go back to the last live and laugh at your reaction to the Twitter likes. Oh, wow, that was a lot. <clears throat> that was a lot because a lot of people were shocked, you know, that you know, I, didn't even, I didn't even think of that, like, your likes are visible, the things you like. I had, like, two or three X-rated likes. But some people, like, it's like all they do is sit up and watch porn all day. I will be with family only. It will be with family only. Okay. Wonder if Chloe going. You know, they say that's the daughter. Uh, Mia Mia say, no, I'm good. Well, Ty Squad, what a great night. What a great, great, great night. I love y'all. We're not going to stay here all night. <clears throat> We're not going to stay here all night and um, just sugar foot around. I'm predicting the oldest son will confess after the funeral. Oh, Wow. Well, why he can? Why wouldn't he confess why his daddy was alive? And then if he confesses, they're gonna arrest him for murder. What if he confesses at the funeral? Oh God. Okay, that's why I love y'all. Who knows? Three hundred fourteen likes. Thank y'all so much. Who knows, that's why There might be a night musings. We come on earlier. And we can double back around here after I eat. So I'm not saying there is. I'm not saying there isn't. But it's it's a, a likelihood. You may see me tonight for a, a night musings. But if you don't, I'll see everybody tomorrow for our Friday Live, right? All right, everybody. I love you. Have a great, great night. Harold, I don't know about that one, bro. That's a lot going on. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see all of y'all at our appointed times tomorrow. Have a great night. Remember. Remember what? Oh, God is in control. God is in control, Ty Squad. We got we to Bye. Love y'all. They may be alive tonight. May not be. I hope you enjoy tonight.
Thank you, LaVert, some more for the $25. I'm about to work on your case right now. You got my word. I'm going to work on and see what's going on with you. Thank you for the $25 right now. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. Good night. Say it's already done, Mama Shark. <laughs> it's all.